Hi. In this business topic video, we're going to take a look at a calculation that you're often required to understand or do in A-level business, which is percentage changes. Now, of course, we see percentages widely used as we read the business news and come across, uh, for example, exam style case studies. It may well be that we're looking at a percentage change in the revenues of a business or perhaps a growth in the market. A share price rises or falls as do exchange rates. And of course, we can use percentages to work out things like profit margins. So it's really important that you get comfortable and build your confidence in understanding what percentage changes are and how to calculate them. Uh, you'll see that percentages are used in a wide uh, variety of different parts or topics of your course. It's often the case that you might be given some information that shows how much a particular number has changed. For, for example, uh, an increase in costs, an increase in reven uh, revenues. And it may well be that you calculate the percentage change in those uh, revenues or costs to see how significant the change is. You may be given some market information to see whether the market is growing or in decline. And that will involve you calculating percentage. And also you can use percentages to look at relative performance, comparing one business with another, perhaps by looking at the profit margin percentage of competitor A against competitor B. But percentages are also really useful when it looks when you look at operational and HR information. For example, uh, you'll come across this when you calculate capacity utilization percentages. So how do we calculate a percentage change? Now there are two methods. We'll show you both methods and give a quick illustration of the two. Uh, you can use either. Uh, the most important thing is, of course, with, when, whenever you're calculating your percentages, is to show your working so the examiner can see where you've got your numbers from and how you've calculated the percentage change. The classic formula here is to take the change between the two values that you're looking at, divide that change by the original value. So if you're looking, for example, at two uh, revenue numbers, you calculate the difference or the change between the two values and divide it by the original value. And of course, to express that as a percentage, you multiply by 100. The alternative method, which can be a lot quicker, just involves one fewer step, I guess, really, is to take the changed value, the value that has, uh, has become the new value, if you like, divide by the original value and what you then do is you take away one and multiply by 100 so what you're really doing is just expressing the new value over the original value taking away one times by 100 should get you the same percentage change it's entirely up to you which of those two methods you use let's uh, have a look then at a simple example where we can try uh, both methods to calculate the percentage change so here we've got a spoon factory. Acme Spoons has a factory that makes presumably high class metal spoons. Last month, the output of the factory was 460,000 spoons. This month, the output was 520,000. What was the percentage change in output? Well, hopefully you can see from the base numbers there, 460 and 520, that the output has increased in this month compared with last month. But what was the percentage increase or the percentage change? Well, let's use the traditional method first. So what we have to do is, first of all, calculate the change between the two values and then divide by the original value. So we had 520 as the new value. Uh, it's an increase because previous month was 460,000 spoons. And we divide by the original value, which is 460,000. If you work those numbers out, that's 60,000, which is the change divided by 460. And of course, to express that as a percentage, we multiply that by 100 and that gives us 13%. I've rounded it up to one decimal place. 13% increase in the quantity of spoons made. We can use the same data to use the alternative method just to show you it also works. So in this case, the alternative method, of course, is to simply divide the change value by the original value. But we take away one and then we multiply the difference by 100. So in this case, the changed value, the new value was 520,000 spoons. The original value last month was 460,000. Divide one by the other, take away one, and then times it by 100. Now, by doing that number, you can see that it's more than one. It's 1.1304 times it by 100, 
and if we round that up to the nearest one decimal place there we are again 13.0 percent increase so either way either one of those methods is fine as long as you understand how they how they're calculated and build your confidence in calculating the percentage change look out for this because i think percentage change is possibly the most uh, frequent the most popular widely examined calculation in business exams you may be asked to do some calculations based on market share maybe an increase in the growth of a market you'll be looking at uh, poten potentially using calculations of percentages when you're looking at profit margins and as we've already mentioned capacity utilization is a percentage change that you need to be confident with but there are lots of others some of the ratios are percentages return on capital employed the gearing percentage if you're looking at sales forecasting you may be asked to apply a percentage change to a number and of course uh, hr percentages like labor turnover and absenteeism all expressed as percentages and percentage changes so there we go that's a brief introduction and an overview of how to calculate percentage changes